If you're watching it live right now, uh, feel free to put in your questions. We'll see if they can get on the show. And uh, there you are. Today, we have an amazing guest on the show. His name is Davron Karimov. Uh, Devron, do I get that name correctly? Yeah, th that's perfect. There you go. There you go. Well, welcome to the show, Devron. Uh, give us your plugs. Tell us uh, who you are and where people can find you on the interwebs. Yeah, so we're funding merchants that they're doing five grand and up in revenue in monthly revenue. Mm -hmm. um, the website is funderhunt.co to apply. Funderhunt.co, not .com, just .co. Um, you can also find my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Davron Karimov. That's my <laughs> YouTube channel. There you go. I was looking at your YouTube channel. It looks really cool. you got a lot of great interviews that are over there as well. Uh, so give us some more in-depth stuff of what you guys are doing. How long have you guys been doing this uh, business and and uh, and uh, what got you into it? You know, combined experience, we have decades worth of experience, but we, we've been open for approximately three years. Mm-hmm. So about three years in business and stuff. Um, and, and are you, it, it says on your YouTube, you guys are a business broker. You mentioned you work with merchants. Give us an idea of, of how your business works and, and how you can work with the uh, people in the audience that might be listening. Yeah. Business loan brokers. So, uh, anybody that's an existing business, uh, we can fund them as long as they're doing five grand and up in revenue and our website can help them get that, get those funds pretty quick you know, within a matter of a couple of hours. And, and so are you just doing loans? Are you taking an interest in their company? How does, how does the equity uh, thing work? Yeah, that's the, that's the beautiful part. We, we, we don't give, we don't ask you to give up control of your company. You, ret you retain full equity. All we're asking you to, is, you know, you just, you just pay a little bit of interest, but you get the funds that you need real quick. Mm -hmm. So uh, what, what's the perfect customer for you guys? Is it someone who's a little cash broke? They're hitting a tight spot with their payroll. Uh, what, what sort of customer is, is the customer that usually turns to you for help? Let, let me explain. So my, my, my sure. favorite type of customer is somebody that is always having to purchase something, something, some inventory, some equipment. Maybe they just need to pay a couple of bills off. And, you know, but by the end of the month, they could get low on 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 cash, you know. They could have a a thousand dollars left in their bank account at the end of the month, you know, could, due to IRS bills or whatever the case may be. But they know that they have future receivables coming in. So what we could do is we could purchase a percentage of those receivables. Mm. So do you guys have where I, I turn over a part of my uh, credit card things to you? So where my credit card things are going to you and paying you back, or yeah, how does that work? Or how does it work? yeah yeah credit cards then went then went that that was that was the original basis of the industry mm -hmm. but now but now we moved everything to uh basically all strictly ach mm -hmm. so we we can we can just literally look at your your bank deposits and your bank receivables what you're depositing per month in a in your business checking account and we could buy a percentage of that oh wow I remember the old days when they, they would do that with companies that want a loan. We used to we used to do loans on money, and, and that was like the way to – you're like, well, you know, we, we, we're just going to take your credit card receipts to so make sure we get paid back and stuff. So uh, it's good that times have changed, and AHC has changed a lot of it. What makes you guys really unique in the industry uh, That where you guys stand out in your relationship with clients and what you can offer them? Well, first of all, I think that we have the best relationships with lenders. I think we could get people approved for way more than they would anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Just because we, you know, we we go we go to bat for these business owners. We we you know we we yell at we we will do what it takes. We'll, we'll yell at the the underwriters, um, and we have we just have that relationship just because of the a lot of the media and the press that we've been getting. Um, but also, we do it much faster than everybody else. If you look at other, like if you go to a competitor, they they might, you know, DocuSign applications, but there, for us, there's no printing, there's no faxing, there's no scanning. All it is is it's all on our website, and we streamlined it, streamlined it so much that you could just answer a couple of questions, five to six questions, and uh, you know, we'll be in touch with you. Wow, wow, that's amazing. Is there a minimum loan amount or a maximum loan amount that you guys will do? I mean, minimum loan amount. You could, you could, you're looking at a couple thousand dollars. 
and maximum we could go up to up to the millions, two million wow. and above. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, and I was reading the article of you from debank.com, which is pretty interesting. Twenty-two years old, MCA broker went from ten k in debt to collecting two hundred thousand a year in commissions. You want to tell us a little bit about that story? Yeah, so 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 I started this back in New York. I I started working at a firm in Long Island City, and you know I was able to close a, a couple of quick deals. Mm -hmm. um, the ten the ten k in debt that you were referencing came from uh, from college. You know, I, I knew yeah. that I knew that school was never a thing for me, but I was pressured to go into college, and um, you know, ten minutes in, into it, I I kind of just walked out. But I didn't know that I still had to pay for those those classes. So, you know, that was a pretty big, pretty big bill coming from that. So I found I found I found a sales job working in commercial finance. Mm -hmm. Um, and then yeah, like I said, I closed some early deals. Uh, I was able to pay back that 10 grand that I owed. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, a, a buddy of mine who had experience working like make creating and and building tech startups. He he noticed what I was doing, and he was he suggested that I could do this way better on my own. Um, I could make more money doing it on my own. So he 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 kind of convinced me to, to to leave and do it on do it my own way. Uh, I mean after after a you know a, a breakup with with my business partners, I I moved I eventually moved to Miami, Florida, from New York, and I opened a new office. Right now we got five salespeople. And we're on we're on track to do the biggest numbers we've ever done. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, how do people usually get in touch with you? Do they usually need to go to the website to apply, or? Oh yeah, they, they could go on the website to apply. They don't even have to talk to anybody. Uh, just put in your information, and we'll be in contact with you relatively quickly. Um, or or you know yeah, I mean our, our all our contact information is on the website. Yeah, it's and it says here you can actually get turn a lot of deals that you get from your video platform on YouTube. YouTube's a great place for business. Of course, our videos are still being watched from 12 years ago. Uh, we love YouTube and we still get paid by them. So that's always nice. I think if I I've told my family if they die, if I die, make sure you get in the account with the YouTube money because you know they'll be watching videos like yours for the next 12 years, probably 20 years. How long, however long YouTube and Google are around. Uh, and so uh, you get a pretty good response off YouTube, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. I, people are always asking me. Um, you know, I saw you on YouTube. Uh, can, can you help me with this deal? Or I and or I saw you on YouTube, and you know, I have a business that's doing a little bit of revenue. I could use the cash real quick. You know, those are my favorite because it's just it's just they already know me. So. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, uh, you know, when you own your own business, you run into all sorts of issues, especially when you're trying to scale. Cause usually you're, you're, you're at a point where, okay, you know, we're spinning the wheels right now and, and yeah, we're, we're making a couple bucks, but man, if we get some more inventory, maybe if we could work out a new widget, get a new prototype built, you know, some other way, you know, it takes money to make money essentially. And so being able to tap into loans and stuff, uh, with with access to what you can where you know i i've had times where uh, one time i was like okay we we need to automate our dialer system we need to make a dialer because everyone was we had a telemarketing department back in the day it was still manual dialing and i'm like we need to automate this and it was going to be like 20 grand to get that dialer bought and built for a 50 seater and uh it was custom through a friend of mine so it was pretty cheap and so uh, we sat and we were like man we, we got to raise 20 grand and I'm not even sure we'll get this money back. And sure enough, we, we, you know, we had some pretty good months. We, we bought the dialer. Uh, we had that dialer paid back, uh, within a month or two uh, of what we of putting the 20 grand and we have 20 grand back plus. And so a lot of companies, they just need that extra little help, that extra push, some extra cash flow on top of what they're doing, where they're just sometimes chasing their tail to be able to scale to the next level. Any thoughts or comments you want to make on that? Yeah, I, I didn't know you had a. You, you have you, you you used to have a sales background. Ah, uh, yeah, I have a huge sales background. Uh, over thirty-five years, I've I started. I'm a lot like you. I started my first company. When I was eighteen. 
Uh, I was supposed to go to college and uh, bailed out as well. I didn't quite get it as far I scheduled, but then I canceled the scheduling. Started my own companies. I've owned probably 27 different corporations across my life. So I'm pretty familiar with what you guys do and how you do it. And, and uh, of course, the need for cash when it comes down to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I, 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 I look for profitable relationships. What, like, we're always trying to be creative with what we can offer these merchants. And, you know, sometimes I get I get a good deal and, you know, and it's just like either the merchant doesn't want to take it, but I but I know it's a good deal in my heart. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try to still, you know, push it. But a lot of my a lot of my more successful merchants the ones that are that are that i see are doing bigger monthly revenues are the ones that come back to us because you know initially we might give you a, a starter starter offer but then come back to us a couple of times you know we're going to give you more more capital as long as you know you're, you're 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 making your payments and you're increasing your revenue why wouldn't we do that yeah you know? Makes sense. Makes sense. And ha being able to have access to those lines of credit that you can tap in at those pinch moments, you know, you want to, you know, sometimes you want to hire another person and you're like, you know, I know we can make more money if we can hire some more salespeople or whatever, but we've got to expand the payroll first and then the money comes back. And so that's really important to a business. Um, are there any other features or aspects of your business that you guys offer that kind of make you unique or or maybe some stuff you want to touch on that, uh, you know, can entice some of the people listening to the show? Yeah, exactly. You know, right now, that's that's one of my biggest challenges. What you mentioned is is hiring and, and, and getting those right people, especially in a relaxed area that like I'm in. I'm in Florida. So so pe pe people could be tend to be a little bit lazy. But that, that's OK. You know, that just means we have to go through more people. But I know that the, eventually once we get the right ones, they're going to they're going to generate more revenue for, for us. They're, they're going to make pro the profit. And that, like I said, it's just it has to be a profitable relationship. Once the, once the profitable relationship for us both, mm -hmm. I, we're just going to both win. There you go. There you go. And uh, uh, what other sort of uh, I'm trying to think of what other sort of loan things that uh, you guys might do. Um, you know, I mean, it's great that you guys can have a, a line of credit sort of relationship where people keep coming back. And I suppose there's a trust value there after a while. But, you know, as they need more money, as they scale, as their business gets more successful, you know, they can have access to those things because there's always times I and mean, we own companies. Uh, for a billion years and there you know no matter how successful we were there was always sometimes a crunch right like you know like you said you 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 send the taxes out for the quarter and you're just like oh wow okay that really cleaned out the bank account or you know you want to invest in something or you need to buy a whole round of new copiers for the office or something um there's always some you know or something goes out that's always you know something breaks down or you know a bunch of computers your network goes down and you're like ah we gotta go spend some money so it's really good to have access to these uh that was my question for you uh do you guys service all 50 states oh yeah all 50 states we we will fund you lickety split i mean I'll, I'll, that that's what i'll give you an example when when i was in when i was just starting out um you know i i used a lot of my personal you know credit cards and that just shot my credit score uh, down. And then when, once, when, when we were looking to expand, you know, expand our office back in New York, they, they, the, the land, the landlord or whoever, um, you know, you know, did an application and they, they basically said, Oh, look, if you want this office, you got to give us five months up front, which turned out to something like $16,000. Yeah. That, that was, that was close to, you know, everything I had at that point, I wasn't willing to give up all of that. Um, ju just to just to get this office, even though it was a, it was a sweet deal, you know, New York real estate, you you can't go wrong, you know. I mean, I don't know about that one. I shouldn't say that. That that's that's quite a lot of money. That's quite a lot of money. So, uh, what's the website again? Uh, so it's funderhunt.co. Funder like what we do, and hunt, and it's .co, not .com. And the, the website looks fairly easy to uh, navigate and apply to. It, you, it looks like you guys got a good system set up here. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Oh, yeah, it's super simple. Like, you just answer five to eight questions, upload three months business bank statements. Mm -hmm. We'll be in touch with you. Um, literally, within a couple hours, we can get them funded. 
Oh, not wow. even 24 hours. And uh, just make sure you're going on it on a PC. That way you can upload your documents seamlessly. Now, uh, what if you have like multiple bank accounts? Our our problem always was we had multiple bank accounts. We're like, uh, how many do you want? <laughs> I mean, it, it depends. If 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 each one of those bank accounts are are generating revenue and they're they're making deposits, mm -hmm. um, then we probably want to see all. Of, or if you're making transfers between each account, we probably want to see all of them. Yeah. But main, mainly where, 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 you know, where the money goes in. If yeah. it's just one account is, that's that's getting deposits, we just want to see that one account in just yeah. three months. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, now, it says here on the dropdown for Fund Your Business Today, how much did you make last month? There's a feature for startup and no revenue. Do You, you guys don't fund that, do you, or anything under 5K, or am I incorrect? Hey, so I, as, as a mentor of mine put it, there has to be something good about the file, okay? Mm. Wh whether it's that you have, a, you have a really amazing credit score, a credit score above 700, oh. or you have revenue, one of, one of those two has to be leveraged. Mm -hmm. So there has to be something good about the file. And does it matter if you uh, are, you know, there's a lot of at home self entrepreneurs working at their home, doing consultants, speakers, you know, I know a lot of my friends who, who travel and speak, they're, you know, they work from home, basically, uh, but they make good money, they can make, you know, 25 grand speaking uh, per event. Um, does are those people good? Or do they need to have like, is there a minimum uh, FICO score? Is there any sort of minimums that you're looking for numbers of employees, etc, cetera, etc? Cetera? Dude, I mean, we, we don't care about the number of employees you have. Uh, mm -hmm. What we're looking for is receivables that you're getting paid on a consistent basis. Mm -hmm. So you're making multiple deposits a month. You're not just making one or two. And also, like, as long as it's not a downward trend, you know, we don't see mm -hmm. your revenue declining because that could also be a red flag. Mm -hmm. um, and it also depends on, you know, what you know, how many gigs you get, how many, what's, what's your, what, what's your industry? Because if, if we're talking about our trucking company, right, a trucking company that has two trucks mm -hmm. and you know, they're making 30, 40 grand a month. If one of those trucks go down all of mm -hmm. a sudden, that's half of your revenue until you fix it. Yeah. We used to own a courier company. It's always fun when the cars go down. Of course, you we usually rent them uh, a replacement, uh, but that gets quite expensive because you're paying twice as much usually for that. Uh, it looks like uh, some of the services on your website: uh, merchant cash, cash advance, equipment financing, small business loans, collateralized business loans, SBA loans, and business lines of credit. You guys do all that. Yeah, we we have a variety of programs available. You know, when they put it, when the, when the business owner puts in their application, we, we try to find out what's best for them. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell, I'll tell you another thing, um, Chris, what, what happened in 2020, something that I really like coming out of 2020 is we actually downsized the amount of lenders we were working with. Uh, we, we, sh we shrunk our lender list by probably about probably the 25% of what it used to be, uh, just because a lot of bad funders were put out of business and now. We're, we're going into the people that we really like and the people mm -hmm. that really work with us best. That's awesome. Now I'm looking at your website too. It says get offers from multiple lenders. Uh, can you give us some more details on that? Yeah. Get offers from multiple lenders. I mean, you know, if you go to a, a, a lender, um, well, first of all, I mean, if you go to a bank, don't even get me started about the bank. <laughs> they're going to take, they're going to take three years of your tax returns. They're going to ask you for all these documents. I've been to one before I've been to plenty of banks um, you know, when I was searching for capital myself, but it, it, it's just a, such a long process that, you, you know, it takes three yeah. weeks to even hear back from anything. Um, but, um, yeah, well, you get offers from multiple lenders because if, if, if you, if you can, can compare and, and choose which one is the best one, it's going to work out for you better. Yeah. And it looks like you guys, uh, believe in personal assistant. Do I work with the kind of the same agent all the time, uh, with your company? Oh yeah, so so we we do everything from A to Z. Whoever your your funding rep is, they're mm -hmm. they're gonna they're gonna work on it from uh from the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. That's good to have because I I've always like I'm like why can't I just get a rep at the bank that I call every time and he knows me, he knows I paid back the loans at the bank, you know, 
he knows me. They don't have to go through that whole, like you say, the, the three-year process and stuff. I own a mortgage company for 20 years. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this stuff, you know, we have, we have to ask for a stool sample, blood sample, DNA sample, uh, whether your kids are yours or not. You know, we had to consult with Mari. You know, we had to, uh, we had to crawl through everything, uh, go through Addict. You know, it's, it's insane what we had to do as a mortgage company. But, uh um, you know, I know how those banks work and it's, it's crazy sometimes. So it's cool that they can have a personal assistant where they can just get right to you, get paid in 24 hours. And, uh, it also says here, no credits required. I guess if you have good revenue, I mean, I know a lot of people, they kind of wreck their credit building their business, but, uh, they, they have revenue, you know, you can look at their balance sheets and their, and their checking accounts and every month they have really good revenue, but, they kind of took a beat in starting the company. I've seen that happen before with small entrepreneurs that we've consulted with. Yeah, yeah and I'll say this. I mean, you know, banks are one thing. They were never reliable to begin with. But, I mean, especially if your credit score is, you know, below 700, you, you're, you're going to have a tough time finding anybody that will they'll give you uh, capital unless, you know, maybe you could get a proof for a credit card. I don't know. But... Um, what I'll say this because it's very meta right now is people going to the SBA. The thing about the SBA is that they they can't give you a, a, a promise on on when you're going to get funded. Oh they, yeah, they just can't because because they, they're the government. You're you're going to hold you know the, their, their word against them. Um, so in the meantime, while, while you're waiting, you, you could get this cash infusion that that everybody needs. Everybody needs capital. You know, no matter no matter who you are, you could always use capital. Um, at one point or another. Um, and, you know, you could use that towards inventory, marketing, expansion, payroll, or hiring, literally any business need. And we won't tell you what you could use the, the capital on. Like these stimulus, pro the, these, these, these loan programs from the SBA right now, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're telling people what they can and can't use the money on. We don't do that. You can literally go to Vegas and bet it all on black for, for, for all we care, you know? That might be interesting. <laughs> that might be an interesting way to go. I've, I've had some friends try and do that because I lived in Vegas for a lot of years before coronavirus. I'm probably going back there. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was crazy. Some of the stuff that I would see, I would have I would have people we owned uh, or I oversaw some rental properties in Vegas and you'd have people that they were like foreigners short on their rent. And uh, so they would decide to go bet on uh, the Raiders or something. And uh, then they would have nothing for the rent. And I'd be like, wow, okay. So, <laughs> but you know, I, it's interesting. They have that flexibility where they can go do what they want and, and uh, you know, you're going to get your money back one way or another. Uh, what have we touched on about your business that we can tease out and entice people to give you guys a call up or uh, go on your website and get to know more about you guys? I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, we got it all. <laughs> that that's it that's it like literally if if you if you need cash we, we what we want to do is we want to be a capital source mm -hmm. for when you when that need does come up and we're there we're always available cool that's awesome that's awesome sauce uh so uh D davron uh give us your uh plugs uh, your dot com so people can uh take and reach out to you and get to know you guys better yeah so so the website is funderhunt.co funderhunt.co not dot com and uh you could also go you know I'm, I'm i'm trying i'm trying to grow my youtube channel i'm trying to put more things on there so i mean if that's okay with you chris i'll say my youtube channel yes please do it's uh youtube youtube.com slash davron karimov my name davron okay. karimov youtube.com okay and we'll have a link to the website on the chris Voss show you guys can find it there devron devron it's been wonderful to have you on thank you very much for coming on and spend some time to enlighten us and educate us Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. And to my audience, thanks for tuning in. Go to youtube.com, Fortress Chris Voss. Uh, you can go to goodreads.com, Fortress Chris Voss. Go to all of our accounts on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and all that good stuff. We certainly appreciate it. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Stay safe, and we'll see you guys next time.